All right, I wanted to go over uh, the information I found with this country coach concept and repairing the tag axle. This is a 99 country coach concept with a ride well axle. Um, let me show you the details of what I have. So, this is where the axle goes. That's the ride well tag right there. Um, I talked to ride well directly and went over the details on this. Um, I work with them as a dealer, so they were able to send me all the information they have. It was an option to order this directly from Ridewell, but it would be a custom build. Uh, what they told me is that Country Coach supplied the axle, so this was a one-piece tag axle, and they built the suspension for it. And right in this little detail here, you can see um, it says stub axle weld detail. So it was actually a one-piece tag axle, and Ridewell cut it and capped it to make it independent suspension. Um, so I have all the details and drawings, and I'm going to repair this axle. Um, it's going to be a lot cheaper. It certainly takes a lot of time to cut this all apart um, and replace the piece that's broken. Uh, but I'm going to go inside and go over the details of how I did that. All right, so I want to show you how I made some jigs here to give my uh, reference points before I cut this all apart. Um, so this is the old axle tubing right here. And you can see it made a clean break. The only place it didn't break was right there. Um, I cut that and then made sure that both sides of this break went back together perfectly. Uh, clamped it all up. Uh, and got everything on this axle <clears throat> where it should be before I cut that piece out. So I was able to grab one bolt down here and then take this arm up to here and weld it into this plate before I cut the tube off. And then I drew myself some lines on the template just to make it even better. Um, on this side, went ahead and drilled out a hole for this big nut right here. And then <clears throat> this piece gives me the top angle of the bolt and also where this was sitting. Um, then I double checked it with the bushing that goes in there that fits. So from there, it's pretty much uh, this tubing is going to center perfectly on this piece. And uh, it was a lot of work getting that tubing all cut out and freed from there. There's a lot of, lot of places that are really hard to get at. Had to cut it out in a bunch of little pieces. Uh, definitely a lot of work. Um, the reason I decided to go ahead and build this, though, Myself, rather than wait six months for a new axle from Ridewell. Um, number one, they were able to send me the blueprints on this axle. So even though I made myself templates, uh, I got some very good drawings that I can reference everything by. And the other thing was <clears throat> the tubing that I wanted to replace that with is a much heavier wall. So we're never going to have an issue with this tubing cracking like that again. Um, I mean, granted, this made it 22 years. It probably wouldn't break ever again, even if I replaced it with the factory uh, size. I like making things better whenever I can uh, in welding and fabrication and really anything that I work on. So the process of welding this, pretty straightforward. I'm going to preheat this material right here to about 400 degrees. Um, I'll use one of these thermometers to check the material temperatures and uh, we'll work it one little thing at a time, probably tack everything together, go back over all the measurements, make sure everything's good 
and uh like to get this thing back in there and get on the road again do some trips so i'll uh keep you updated All right, so I've preheated this material. Uh, I've back beveled these two connections here and uh, checked everything, make sure the fitment's good. <clears throat> I wanted to tack it before I preheated it because once that's hot, you're not gonna be able to move things around and get them accurate. And uh, now it's time to weld it up. I use uh, this little thing here to check my temperatures. So. I'm up around 400 degrees on this pipe right now, and uh, now we're going to weld it up, and I'll roll it, get all the welds good all the way around it, and uh, then paint it, and it'll be time to install it after that. Well, there it is, all welded up. That was definitely the quickest part of the job. I rolled it into a few different positions to get the welds in there nice. Um, the other thing that I didn't point out earlier was in there uh the weld in there was really really half-assed um not impressed with it at all big globs looked like they ran out of gas welding it so i cleaned it up in there a little bit and lo lay a few more beads on that um so that's it gonna wait for it to cool paint it and uh put it back in so there it is all installed the install process went pretty smooth everything lined up perfectly uh, I'm pretty happy with the repair I don't think we're gonna have any issues I will take one road trip with it and uh, I'll probably measure the tread depth on either side and uh, try to get um, an angle on the tire before I leave on some flat ground uh, I went ahead and installed new air cans on both tag axles, uh, new lines, and uh, gonna put the tire back on and go for a road trip. Pretty happy for how that worked out, and can't wait to get on the road again. If anybody uh, ever runs into a problem like that and can't find a solution, um, I'm pretty good with fabrication stuff and machining and all that kind of thing. Uh, just hit me up and try to help you out.